Any luck? Did you find any sign of Ina? Let me see that. Ulang is Ina's right hand. She must have left this for him. Oh, damn. She really is in trouble. You check on that camp she mentioned and see if you can find her. I'll prepare the garrison for whatever's coming. Oh, I'm not sure what to think. But if the Reachmen went to all the effort to get this far north, it's probably for more than just raiding caravans. Be careful. Once you find... the 
reach. <laughs> Don't hurt him, or I'll... Hey, you! Untie me! That's better. Look, we don't have much time. These curs plan to destroy our bridge, and I just gave them exactly the information they need to do so. They have Uleng. They would have killed him if I didn't cooperate. I told them about the smuggling tunnels, the ones that lead to the cavern beneath the bridge's foundations. They plan to use explosives to bring down the bridge. The Reachman leader, Wound, is an alchemist. He created a powerful alchemical reagent. He's going to ignite the reagent and collapse the cavern. He's down there now, but there's still time. We need to warn Captain Hingrid. Good. The bridge is a symbol of Western Skyrim. It serves as both a vital thoroughfare and a monument to our people. I really don't want to see it destroyed because of my mistake. Find Captain Hingrid. She'll know what to do. I'll be along shortly. The bridge will fall like a wounded animal. Station sentries on both sides of the bridge. As many as you can. Yes, Captain. Report. What did you find at the waterfall camp? Did you locate Ina? Destroy the bridge? 
While we're standing right here? How do those rich idiots expect to get that close? Smuggler caves? Under my garrison? I'll deal with Ina later. Right now we need to act fast. Maybe we can flush the bastards out before they do whatever it is they're planning. I think... Wait, is that Ina? Wait, there's a problem. Ina! Care to explain the smuggler caves beneath my garrison? I got back here as quickly as I could. The Reachmen. I heard something troubling as I made my way out of the camp. It's not just the bridge that's in danger. The Reachmen intend to utilize the smuggler cave entrances to surround the town. They're going to attack the garrison. If the Reachmen can use explosives, so can we. Gather the Kindle Pitch and fire salts from the garrison barn. We can use that to make our own explosives and seal those entrances. Here, I'll mark the entrances on your map. Use the fire salts and kindle pitch at each location. Then find the main entrance to the smuggler caves behind the waterfall. Seal the side entrances, then go stop Wound. And save Uleng too. I need him. If we survive this, Ina, we are going to have a very long talk. Whatever you say, Captain.
Get me out of here. You don't look like these tusking reach bastards. I assume that means you're here to rescue me. I knew Ina wouldn't give up on me. What I ever do to deserve her? These skinny weaklings are setting up explosives farther in the cave. I heard my arm, or else I'd help. I can make my way out of here by myself, but you have to stop them. Thanks. I won't forget this. Now untie me so I can get my sorry hide out of here.
dead. And yours? The same. It's good to see you, my friend. I feared the worst when the Richmen started pouring out of the cave. Since you're here and the bridge is still standing, I assume your mission was a success? Excellent. Hopefully after all this trouble we can convince Solitude to make our lives a little easier. Thank you, friend. Your actions likely saved the Western Hordes. I promise you, your triumph will not go unsung. An intricate plot by the Richmond. This doesn't bode well for Western Skyrim. I need to warn Solitude. After this, they have to provide the support we were promised long ago. For their own sake, if not for ours. They better. What happened here will be hard to ignore. They might not tell stories of your bravery, but I think they'll send us what we need. And for the rest, we have enough. No, I think this whole ordeal taught her a valuable lesson. Gods, at least I hope it did. Besides, she loves Dragon Bridge as much as I do. She's part of our community. And I always make use of every resource at my disposal. Now, thanks again. Everyone all right? Did we lose anyone? Who Lang's on? I told him not to. I'm fine, Ina. Really. We'll get him healed up. Don't worry.
There's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. Information. The Ice Reach Coven. At work in the West. Just need more proof. Go! They're coming! Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Hold. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. Ice Reach Coven? Ridiculous. The only threat to the West are those damn spies from Eastern Skyrim, conspiring against our king. Forget whatever nonsense this skeever told you and be on your way. You hear more talk like his, report it to the guard. Don't start spreading rumors about Reach Witches. You go panicking the good folk of Solitude and I'll toss you in a cell. And how is it you know so much about this witch work? And my grandfather killed 12 giants with his bare hands. But at least he had the good grace to string a few of their teeth around his neck before he made the claim. Got any proof? Or do you want to reconsider making a false report, eh? The word of an outsider isn't worth mammoth spit. Keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong and you'll wind up just like him. Mind your own business. Or you'll find that solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators and... Strangers. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Brondled. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. Dead? Stone's mercy. And I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was nice. The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing, trying to blend in. But still off around the edges. Same with their horses. Sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. A wild land full of wild folk. Located south and west of here. It's changed hands between reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. Seeing reachmen wandering the streets of solitude. It makes me nervous. You'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth. What the rich men do to folks they capture. Better to slice your own throat than let those barbarians take you alive. If they raid our hold, just run and don't look back. They'd be wise to. The only time rich men and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor, or writing for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. Who knows? 
Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachman would hire Nord so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm is like that. We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scald King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. My parents back in Lil... Lucky you. You're free.
What? I'm so hungry. A fascinating application. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Vanus Galarian, one of the founding members of this august body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the Artificer, to ensure our future success. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. When we're on guild business, we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls. Well? I'm accustomed to stairs, but I reached my threshold for gawkers a long time ago. Move along. I'm waiting for someone. He's what? Damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very bad.
We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Lear is Titanborn. But I assure you, my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svargrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you. But I will hear you out. Have you ever... I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. The letter that preceded your arrival... Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svargrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. Trouble from the Reach is as common as snow in winter. That will not be enough for Svargrim to accept the help of outsiders. His hatred of Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris must bring me proof my husband cannot ignore. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Yoren, and not necessarily in one piece. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest. Should we not be wary of such a man? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact Rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. He will not easily earn the High King's trust. You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Joran exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned, then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as your claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. My deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, 
Our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondolt? Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondolt was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Scald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondolt thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? Brondolt mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skull King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well, so Joran sent me to warn them. Beyond that, we have the leads Brondold found, and that's about it. I had a run-in with the Coven too. First at their stronghold in the Sea of Ghosts, then in Eastmarch. They tried to... well, let's say they had plans of an unkind nature regarding the Skald King. I stopped them, then came here to warn Svargrim. While it's true that Svargrim and Yorin don't get along, the Skald King doesn't want something terrible to befall Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Yorin was hoping for an opportunity to improve relations. Lyris Titanborn. I was one of Emperor Varen's five companions. Currently, I serve Yorin the Skald King. Skyrim's my home, and I'll do whatever's necessary to protect it. Whoever's behind these threats will regret it, as soon as we identify them. This axe and I have been all over Tamriel, to oblivion and back on more than one occasion for that matter. I've earned my reputation. Yorin hoped my fame might persuade Svargrim to grant me an audience. But it seems to be working against me. Most of the tales of my exploits involve the liberal application of the blade of my axe. Svargrim must think Joran sent me here to strong-arm him into joining the Pact. He's wrong, but I'd probably jump to the same conclusion. We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Spargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn.
not the first Nord from the East to receive a chilly reception at the Blue Palace. Doubt I'll be the last. Bard's College. Hard to imagine the Scald King spent his youth studying verse in this stodgy old kingdom. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. What? Solitude not the place for you right now. We can get you to Dominion, Covenant, and Pact territories. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. My benefactor awaits you in the Patheri House, near Tradesman's Square. Do not tarry. They're busy right now.
Can you believe it? Dragons, in your own homeland. What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe in Riverwood. Slaughter, pure and simple. We're under attack! Sergeant Stagine led us from Wayrest when he heard about a drag invasion. It was chaos. Folk were fighting drag in the street. The sergeant sent me for reinforcements. Can you help? <laughs> 